what happened to me today is that uh, I became quite upset by various circumstances. And I think I need to do something about that to remove this feeling of upsetness. And what I was thinking to do is to uh, forgive those things. Now, are you saying like forgive those things as in the people or events that pissed you off? Or were there things that you did to yourself? Hmm. That is a great question. I think it was actually both. So because somebody was um, uh, walking by and then kind of like did something that I did not like. And then I was upset at this person's uh, action. And ah, what a bad person that is. So or maybe somebody like definitely somebody said something that uh, I disagreed with. And uh, yeah, I was also upset at this. And then I also I made a nice schedule uh, for uh, this day. And guess what? Of course, I woke up later than expected. And then uh, I did only half of the things in the morning, which I was planning to do. So I'm kind of like overall upset uh, and uh, feel kind of like damaged and harmed by other individuals and the actions of theirs. And then mine as well. Now, see, it's very funny how you mentioned that, because first of all, not to give you a diagnosis, a formal diagnosis, but this is something very common. Not only does yes. it affect you, it affects pr pretty much everyone I can think of. And it how often does it happen? And how often does it happen? Pretty often. Yeah. If not too yeah. often at times, right? Oh, yeah. But see, yeah. but that's the thing. Like, we see things happening to us. We see things that make us unhappy or whatnot. And then we have to think about this tool, this skill that a lot of us have, but we all need to work on and develop, which is what we want to talk about today. And that's the tool, the skill, even the power of forgiveness. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And now the scenarios that you mentioned, we can look at this in two separate main aspects. We have the aspect of when it comes to forgiving yourself. Yes. For not living up to your own expectations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And own goals that you set for mm. yourself or forgiving others for them not being, you know, the individuals or even like them living up to the expectations that you set them up to. Right. Obviously, these things lead to disappointment. They lead to being upset, which is similar to what you experienced. Yeah. Yeah. But we have to we have to teach ourselves. We have to teach ourselves that, you know, like forgiveness is something that we all need to work on. Right. Yes. An example when it comes to forgiving yourself. Right now, just tying it back to like a bunch of the topics we have discussed, like around the previous episodes, we talk about discipline. We talk about fulfillment. We talk about being strong, whether that's physical, yeah. mental, emotional, even financial, you can say. We basically talk about can even give off the message of, you know, being hard on yourself, which to an extent is a very good thing to do. You need to be disciplined. You need to set yourself to high expectations and all. Yes. But then, you know, come, there comes times, there comes events where things happen that are not in our control, right? Quick example, like not last week, but the week before. I set myself to a schedule of work and training that week. Yeah. Something happened that week. I got sick. I got the flu. I got <laughs> under the weather. Exactly. And so I didn't go train for two of the five days during the weekday, which I had set for myself to train. Yeah. And if I were to look at myself like back then, obviously I was upset. Why? Because like I wanted to go train. I wanted to go learn, develop, progress, and also improve. But, you know, being sick didn't give me the opportunity to do so. Now, see, like if I were to be super hard on myself, I would have been like, oh, being sick is fine. Just go train. Yeah. But no, like I, I listened to myself. I was like, nope, I have this limit at the moment. I need to focus on resting, recovering, and giving up on the training for like a day or two. Why? Because Absolutely. I needed to recover. I needed to feel better. Yeah. And then it comes down to the aspect of I was forgiving of myself. I was like, sure, it's only a day. It's only two days. It's only a temporary thing. But kind of like allow yourself to have this off moment. Yes. So that way, when you do feel like you can progress more and, and, and once you feel better, you basically, you get back on it. Yeah, it comes down to the main sense, and not not only being sick can stop you. Like you can have many other constraints in your schedule, in your day that stop you from doing this. Like whether it's your work, whether it's your job, 
whether it's you know certain events that come up and you have to go give your time and attention to which which would cause you to sacrifice some yes. scheduled time for the things you had planned for yourself and we have to teach ourselves we have to really come down to points where it's okay to have off periods whether that be a day or two whether that be even a week but as long as we don't let that interfere with our overall consistency yes and what we want to achieve then that shouldn't be a problem so it comes down to as simple as if something's not going your way because something else came up that's not in your control exactly just allow it it's yes. it's okay like if it's out of your hands free it from your mind mm-hmm. and that comes yeah. down to the aspect of forgiveness and that's mainly what i think when it comes down to yourself and obviously there is which i touched on in the beginning when it comes to other people but i want to hear what you have to say yeah so, so uh, yeah that's a great uh, thought that you kind of introduced we can think about forgiveness uh, forgiveness radius uh, so to speak so and then the center is you so that's uh, like who you need to forgive first uh, for example, uh, in my case, this week, I also scheduled uh, quite a bit of things, uh, which I was going to accomplish starting Monday, but due to the travel to New York City, so I had to postpone some things. So yeah, because I had to take care, for example, of something more fundamental, let's say laundry, right, as a mundane as it sounds, because that's what kind of literally prevented me from training, because all the clothings that I had uh, possession of uh, had to be washed. So, and then, yes, I was upset uh, uh, and then kind of, I was not trying to kind of like forgive myself for skipping the training, let's say from Monday to uh, Wednesday, but that's how it worked out. So, and then uh, eventually I thought about this as the uh, exercise in uh, flexibility of my planning, uh, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, because I said, well, so I'm going to kind of like take uh, it easy on the days from Monday to Wednesday. Yeah, there is going to be like no training, but it's going to be mostly chores such as laundry and unpacking of the parcels, uh, maybe meal prepping. But it was all good to the better. And then I was uh, putting the premium uh, on training during the second half of the week. So, and then all in all, it uh, worked out. So I achieved all my kind of objectives in terms of the training, maybe not volume wise, but it kind of like still was uh, consistent overall because I uh, have trained during this week. Uh, So yeah, uh, that's like uh, like what happened uh, to me. So if I were to kind of like start with the center uh, of the like forgiveness radius, so and then uh if i kind of like think about the kind of like further uh steps in this so is that uh, if i kind of like don't uh, forgive uh, myself for like coming short uh, of my own expectations and plans uh then i will kind of uh, feel uh stuck in this negative mindset so that's also kind of like not a good thing to uh, have on your hands but yeah you need to kind of like try to uh like reimagine have it like a little bit of like paradigm shift i think towards yourself and then think about okay well uh, what uh, possibly useful can i get from uh, forgiving myself for falling short of the uh, schedule so i love how you touched on these because you had set expectations you had set plans goals um for like your first half of the week correct Yes. And then what happened was things didn't go your way. Sure, it can make you upset, but oh yeah, it comes down to the main things of adapt and overcome, which honestly, we can talk yeah. talk about the aspect of adapting and overcoming in like a completely different episode. But the main thing is like you, you found a quick workaround around it, like rather than beating yourself up or being too hard on yourself yes. for, for not doing these said training sessions, you made it up and you, and you did other stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, like, that's like right. early earlier this week, like yesterday, even the day before, I'd set myself to plan on completing two training sessions each day. But after doing the first one, I was drained, I was exhausted. Yeah. And which is unlike what usually happens to me, but it right. came down to it came down to like the strenuous activities of different tasks that came from outside of training. And that had to do with work, that had to do with chores, that had to do Indeed. with many things, yeah. but mainly work really. But then again, I allowed myself to basically just, you know, be good with that one training session. And I allowed myself to rest and recover and just feel good. Right. Exactly. 
but see, as I as I mentioned, work, as I mentioned many things before, we talk about other people, right? Yeah. And it's further on ma- the radius. Yeah, and at many times I think it's harder to forgive other people, especially when they make you upset to a certain level. Yeah. Than it exactly. is to forgive yourself, right? And yes. and then again, this kind of practice, this kind of tool, habit, skill, whatever you want to call it, forgiveness, it takes time. Right? Mm-hmm. And I've had interactions yeah. with people in my workplace, with people in my social circle. And these interactions I've had with them, you know, we, we didn't agree on things. Exactly. Like a certain person would say something, I would say something else. Or like I would expect one thing from a person, that person would not deliver or like live up to my expectations. Yes. These things used to really bother me. Really bother me to the point where like I would, what's the word? Hold, hold a grudge against a person. That or hold happened. resent or hold resentment against yeah. a person. Why? Because I was upset with something and then I didn't really forgive them, nor did I bring it up with them. But then as I've had more and more of these interactions, whether it be people from the workplace, whether it be mm-hmm. people from outside the workplace, I have done certain things. Number one, don't set people up to the same high expectations you set for yourself. Because people like us now, we do set high expectations for ourselves. Why? Because we like to keep ourselves together. But then again, we have to understand that not everyone around us is the same as us. Yes. Which brings me to quickly want to touch upon a one point. I know you guys cannot see it as it is, but this book, Surrounded by Idiots, okay, by Thomas Erickson, basically teaches... It touches upon the aspects of, I wouldn't say forgiveness in a sense, but more so like, do not expect everyone to think yes. and act the way you do. Yeah. Right? That's that's what what this book basically oh, tells okay, you. Okay, and then, yeah. that's a good one. Without sounding, without sounding mean, without sounding offensive, it teaches you to kind of think that, like, just picture everyone around you just being an idiot. What do you expect yeah. from idiots? You expect nothing from them. Yeah. When you have that, you Absolutely. you basically diminish the ability for other people, their actions, other events to get you upset to a certain extent, which mm-hmm. touches upon you learning to quickly forgive the actions of other people that didn't live up to your expectations. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a good point about kind of like being upset by like and then annoyed and uh, harmed by other people so yeah that also kind of like needs to be addressed so yeah because i think in my experience if i were to let this let this uh, feeling just uh, go and develop then i would uh, normally find myself kind of again stuck uh, in this um, situation in the state of being kind of like upset and salty whatever the adjective uh, is that describes this uh, state right so basically i would kind of like feel unhappy in general right so and then yeah if i kind of like perform the like, quick self audit here then i realize normally well it doesn't kind of uh, it occupies my brain space to kind of like uh, think about how upset i am Right. And then I cannot think about something more productive, productive, such as, okay, well, I need to clean my room, for example. Right. I need to unpack some parcels. I need to, let's say, cook and then uh, go to the gym and so on and so on. There are many other things that kind of like are more sort of useful to work on than just uh, being upset. So that's how I can uh, sort of like negotiate with myself and say, well, I need to move on and then kind of like address and then deal with this, like manage this uh, feeling of upsetness uh, because I was kind of like uh, insulted by somebody, uh, for example, right? So and I need to address that. So maybe I'll just kind of remove this thought. So, or maybe I'll talk to this person like right away and then say, well, so they do something kind of like stupid and I kind of like address them well. So yeah, don't do that. So yeah, that's uh, kind of like not appropriate and, and so on and so on. And then yeah, kind of it's vented right away or maybe you can like do it later. So yeah, it depends on, on you, but basically sooner than later to kind of like address this problem. And then that way you will kind of like diminish this uh, potential feeling of uh, being upset 
that precludes you from doing kind of like more productive things that kind of like really matter. So, and then I would also add that uh, I think if both uh, sides, right, let's say two individuals, just like use it as a model, uh, are upset by one another. So like one person says, ah, oh, yeah, person B, you're bad. But then the person B says, no, you started first and then suddenly like that. And then they are all, then both sides are perpetually uh, upset at one another. They are salty. So that can potentially lead to some sort of conflicts, right? Uh, for example. So, and then you can think about some kind of larger scale <laughs> examples uh, between like nations that kind of like would lead to wars eventually, right? And other like uh, atrocities. So that's not good. So, but if both kind of sides have this like mindset, okay, well, we need to kind of address it and manage it and then kind of like move past it, resolve this conflict then yeah so you will be kind of like better off uh, after that so then kind of like trying to uh, kind of like perpetuate and then continue this state of being upset and uh, kind of like unhappy with one another so in a sense i think it kind of like goes back to actually i read about this uh, lately it's the greek tragedy tragedy model where both sides have to kind of like realize it achieve the catharsis and then they will be able to get through their upsetness and uh, the conflict and then they will get in the clear so once they say well so they will change shift their paradigms uh to being upset all right and then they will say okay well we need to kind of remove the address it and then maybe like resolve it like gather talk about this stuff discuss negotiate and so on and so on take action to remove this uh, bad state and then this will help us to go to the uh, good state so but it does require some kind of like paradigm shift and then kind of like mind uh, engagement um, so switching basically from the bad stuff to kind of actively working to the good stuff right to achieve the good kind of like uh, state uh, and then yeah you will have like chances to actually like overcome the conflict uh, and um, get to like the clear waters, let's say, of like peaceful times, for instance. Like, I like that. Like our our goal at the end of the day is, like you said, peaceful times or peace of mind, right? Yeah, and that's right. When we yeah. yeah, and when we quickly when we quickly look at what we touched upon, like when it comes to your forgiveness with yourself or your forgiveness with others, we can say like when it comes down to with yourself, allow yourself. To have these off moments that come up unexpectedly. Yes. Use those moments as a tool for you to get back on track, exactly. whether it be with your goals and achievements, anything you want to do. With others, when it comes to forgiveness with others, um, we learn that we shouldn't set high expectations for others the same way we set high expectations for ourselves. And then when yes. the actions or even inactions of others um, upset us or make us disappointed, we can either bring it up with them, yeah. Either to resolve it, or even okay, like in some okay. cases, a conflict would would arise. And then we just learn at the end of the day that whether we resolve things with with like a certain individual or whether we don't. Like in my experiences, I've had conflicts with people that have extended to a long time, and me not even speaking to that person, right? And that's okay. Like you don't have to be friends with everyone in your life, but at the end yeah. of the day, the people I have had conflicts with in the past and disagreements with i forgive them why yes. like would i would i go be friends with them or go have lunch with them no i wouldn't go out of my way to go see them or hang out with them oh yeah but at the end of the day like i forgive them i allow them to live their lives as they please because i realize at the end of the day it doesn't affect me in any way yeah so exactly. let them do them and i will continue doing me yeah because like, i have things i want to get to i have things i want to achieve so i'm gonna be focused on that yeah. Well, whoever I had conflicts with, I forgive you. We've had our time, whether good, bad, ugly, anything, move on. Yeah. I detach myself from you in any way, shape, and form, and I go and I continue living my life. And that that's true. what forgiveness allows us to do. Yeah. It allows us to live peacefully. You don't have to love everyone. No, you don't. You just exactly. have to not hold any form of grudges or resentment against them. You don't want to take away your peace of mind, basically. Yeah, exactly. So, and then, yeah, so it stays uh, completely doable. I think, yeah, you just need to be kind of aware of that. Maybe start with just uh, one question. So am I doing kind of like the right thing by being upset at somebody? And then once you have this kind of like question, it is like an easy question to 
uh, ask yourself and then that uh, hopefully will uh, trigger some sort of like thoughts okay well i'm doing something wrong so and then yeah uh you'll be able to kind of like take action to kind of like remove this um, bad situation from your shoulders right or like remove the weight as we would say from your shoulders so yeah, yeah and then, i like that yeah, I also like agree with that. So that yeah, sometimes it can be kind of like not so easy and uh, kind of like doable uh, at the first try. But yeah, if you think about that as a skill, uh, and then you apply it a little bit, uh, like maybe like uh, on a weekly basis or something like that, depending on how much conflict and upsetness and uh, insult insults uh, you have uh, in your life on a like weekly basis, right? For example, a daily basis. Then yeah, you can work on that, and then yeah, become better at this, and then eventually you'll become be able to like manage uh, like big uh, conflict situations uh, which uh, were caused by some kind of like insults and the uh, feeling of being upset by those uh, insults, uh, for instance. So yeah, I think that is a uh, trainable, but yeah, it all kind of requires the engagement of the mind at the first place. And yeah, so we are here to deliver those experiences of ours to you guys uh, and gals uh, and everybody else so that you can kind of like be aware of what kind of like we have done and then what kind of solutions and approaches we suggest. Exactly. And I think like just like a good overall question to end this on and to really bring up the theme of forgiveness is whatever steps you want to take next, ask yourself this. Does this bring me peace or does this bring me harm? We want peace at the end of the day. We want to bring ourselves peace. So always follow exactly. with your mm. instincts of what brings you peace. Yeah. Without inflicting harm to yourself or others. That's how that's how I would end this, really, unless you have something that else true. to say. Uh, that's a good way to end it, uh, definitely. And uh, at this point, uh, we are done. So, yeah, please uh, uh, consider subscribing to our channel if you find usefulness. Uh, in the content that we are delivering uh, to you on a regular basis. Uh, you can also uh, leave comments uh, uh, in the, like, for this video below the video. And yeah, that's going to be a good uh, way to support us, uh, give us some thoughts and uh, uh, things to consider. So we read all the comments and accept all kinds of criticism, uh, constructive, destructive suggestions. Whatever you want to uh, shoot our way, just launch it. And you... keep hacking the life to achieve success and prosperity and productivity. Let's go. Thank you.